doing our uh, feature race now. So everyone, wherever they had their finished position last time is where they qualify for this position now. And we are... And like Let's go. And where do we go here, guys? So Kobe Williams in P1, followed by Audi and Caprice in P2 and P3, respectively. Massive grid coming into P1 now. So turn one now. But uh, Kobe making a really good effort to stay in there now. So rounding the exit of turn two. Everybody knows the tail. Fantastic start with the second race. Mario Valtteri had flashing lights in the background. He wants to get on with the business. Oh, someone's off in the fence. They're over the fence. That was Bryce oh. there, I believe. No, it looks like we've got Silver Fox racing of Bryce Crawford over. And, and Caprice oh, as well. Liam Caprice off the road. Suddenly, just as we said, what's well, been such a fantastic first up. We've got cars flying over the place. And now we've got <laughs> my Kobe, man, another car off the road. <laughs> Kobe Williams, in fact, is about to get pushed hard here by, uh, by Tim Audy. On that straight, every time it's just a drag race for him. Hard and to make then, the move uh, on the outside, though. Oh. So Tim Morty, the rally man, he'll try it anyway. He'll go to the dirt if he has to. Looks like he's going to have to block now because he's got one Mercedes behind of Jake Maloney having a look. Everyone's a little bit wide through the middle of two. Not the least of which is Kobe Williams, a super wide round two. So this is going to be really awkward for him down into Honda. With, a, with Tim all over the back of him, he's going to have to go to the outside once again. As we've seen every single lap of every race, of every sorry, of every lap of both races tonight so far, it's going to cost him a position. No, it's not. No, he's got it. It's not going to insta Siberia now. Maloney opting to stay behind Tim Audi through that one line corner on the exit. Bit of a bump and run there as well from uh, from Maloney there. And they're super close. Next one, another round the outside at Hayshed. Not an easy move to do. Great respect between both these guys. Oh, they've no. touched oh, again. Around. Out. Oh, great job to hang on to it. Both of those guys doing such a fantastic job to race so closely side by side. And they're still side by side. Dan MG around the second last corner. I actually don't know the name of that corner, but we're just going to call it the second last one. Oh, one. Tim's off. Tim's off. Oh, God, hang on. And Tim's backwards. He's oh, backwards he's off of turn two. He's backwards. Okay, let's try and check that out now. Oh, that. Oh, that? That's a bit of net code in that one. That's that really unlucky. Code. Did we see Vartanian going off there? Vartanian came off there, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, no, he's had a big out. off. Second uh, off for uh, Mario there. He's just come out real wide. I think he's going to touch the grass. Yeah, it's just come out super yeah. wide. Wow, Unsearing. Once again, towards the outside of turn one. No mistake and who's in the lead if there's a car going around the outside of turn one. It's always going to be Kobe Williams. So now Jake might have a look on the outside. So Kobe Williams hugging in the inside all the way around. As we said earlier, remember, you've got to get the good run out of here to ensure you can hang on to it down at the Honda, but he hasn't. Or should we say Maloney's got the good run? He's gotten far enough up, but he hasn't gotten far enough up to pinch Kobe down the inside, so he's going to have to relinquish the lead that he had momentarily there and stick back behind Kobe. Jake Maloney having a look around, down the outside of the McLaren into turn one. He's rolled out of it. He's decided to try and make something of it round into turn two. Oh, great angle up here, so we can see how just how close these guys are, and what what a lead they have as well over the rest of the pack as they squabble amongst each other. Maloney's past Kobe Williams, and he's putting the lead on him. It looks like Kobe just lost the uh, the rear end of that car for just a split second, and Jake went ahead and uh, and took the lead from there. So, oh, yeah, so just losing the rear end a couple of times there from from Kobe, but he's making a battle of it. I wouldn't say it's over yet. So we've still got eight minutes to go in this race. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe will be getting a little bit of an advantage now. Oh, oh wow, he does. He got that pass. To say, Kobe will get a little bit of an advantage out of uh, following around Jake Maloney now because uh, we know that uh, the McLaren isn't the best in the straights. But uh, Jake and Kobe still battling it out as they come through. Kobe uh, making the move. Yeah, big time. So uh, Kobe like taking it back had again. A a, looks like Maloney's actually had a bit of a look into MG there, but... Kobe's hung on to it. Just so you can see from uh, Maloney's perspective just how close these guys are racing. He's going to try and go on the outside again on this straightaway, the uh, the Gardner straight. This has just been back and forth, a rock and hard place type environment between these two guys. And uh, yeah, no one's giving up an inch uh, anywhere. And uh, Derek as well, actually still making moves on, uh, on Steve Jenkins. But Steve is... Holding that top five spot really well and also trying to push for uh, Robert Orsner. Not overdoing it and making a good move as Derek. Oh, Derek had to jump on the brakes there and uh, Stuve has made the move on Orsner, but Orsner is taking it back again. These guys are just going to keep swapping positions. 
and uh, hopefully not overcooking their tires towards the end of the race. We've only got uh, two and a half minutes remaining. Derek uh, had a bit of a bust up here. Yeah, we knew these guys were racing super close with one another. Jenkins involved in this one too here. We can see everyone's really close. Oh no, so Robert Orson's got himself out in the marbles. Oh, and Liam Police has come through and taken all three spots. Thank you very much. And uh, Tim's got a bit of a bent ironing board as well by the looks of it. And I believe that was Anthony Walthold in the background oh, no, he's coming off and coming back on. Oh, he's come back across the track. Oh, we didn't see where he ended up, but that was pretty awkward. It's really uh, super hard to stop the car when you're like, ah, oh, it's funny, funnily enough. And Good little saw... battle pack happening back here. Tim Audi right on the bumper. Look at the uh, rear end of uh, Steve's car at the moment, guys. It's uh, seen better days, and uh, the KRS Motorsport mechanics are going to be having a workout, I think. And as we are coming into our last lap, actually, and that is going to be taken out by Jake Maloney in the Mercedes. We have uh, Tim Audi, who is trying to catch up to Steve Jenkins. I'm going to pull it up on, uh, on Steve Jenkins now. He'll be really happy with, uh, with his race taking out uh <laughs> p5 there as he's coming right across he'll be quite proud of his uh, performance in that one well done Steve. and uh, we also have robert orsner in there in p8 okay so p1 we had jake maloney uh in the mercedes we had p2 kobe williams now p1 and p2 were absolutely battling uh from pillar to post from lap one every through yeah you know, just every inch was just absolutely exciting so well done to those guys uh, and thank you for the exciting race in there, fellas. Uh, so, uh, again, P2 was Kobe Williams. P3 was Mario Vatanian. P4 was Liam Caplice. P5, Steve M. Jenkins, or Steve M. Jenkins, affectionately known as Steve, uh, in P5. In the KRS Motorsport BMW, we have uh, P6, Timothy Audi. P7, Derek Audi in the Simrigs.com livery cars. Uh, P8, Anthony Walthold. P9, Gary Wickett. P10 was uh, Ben Holko to round out the top 10 for this evening here, fellas. Thank you.